guys, it's Marvel Cornet here, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how you can fix the problem with the keys on uh, any of the older Chrysler vans. Because I'm in the rust bucket right now, and uh, I feel like uh, this car would be the perfect example of me to show you it, so yeah. Without further ado, let's get going. I went ahead and moved it real quick because the um, that's why the radio's on. Um, so anyway, let me open the door real quick so I can show you this. Uh, well, you guys will actually be able to hear it since there's no muffler on this thing anymore. So right here is the key that comes with the car. This is the factory key, and um. This is what you're supposed to use because that that's what makes it start. And then there's this key where it's not actually the factory key. It's just like a spare key to unlock the doors. But you can see here, if I turn it on, see that red dot right there? It'll start to blink. And the reason why that is is because it knows that there's no chip in there. So... When I go to try and start it, it immediately stalls because it knows that there's no chip inside of there. So if this is the only key that you can use that actually works, like I said, if the factory key, like the key itself right here is broken or it's just worn out, then... This should work, because um, I'll show you real quick. So, put the uh, spare key in there, and then push in anywhere on the ignition. Just push in on it with the other key, even if it's worn out or broken, it doesn't matter. Now turn it to the on position. Keep it pressed down. And you can see that the red light turned off because it knows that the key is in there it thinks that it's the actual factory key so once you go to try and start it now you can let go of it and it doesn't stall and yes everything works you can even take it out of gear and um, move it and pretty much everything. So hopefully this video was helpful. And um, I, as far as I know, this is only with Chrysler vehicles, not like with Chevys or anything. I don't think because if there's anything with an ignition that looks like this, then yeah, you could try it and it'll most likely work. So yeah, guys, hopefully this video was helpful, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.